loud in here, isn't it? Well, I am at this point making FISA fuel. I'm hoping to, uh, to make as much polonium as, at once as I can, and, uh, but I need a lot of fuel to do that. For a lot of fuel, I need a lot of uranium, which I've been mining, but this much uranium makes enough uranium oxide to fill one of these. Consider that for a second. Also, four stacks of 64 fluorite reacted with sulfuric acid makes enough sulfuric acid to fill one of these. Uh, but today, we will be discussing the other odds and ends of mechanism, which I haven't really given much thought to, at least until now. Consider, for example, this device right here, the combiner. <coughs> it puts things together that we would ordinarily take apart. I'll just whip one up, and then we can have a look at the recipes. So, um, let's see, that's four steel, four glass, an osmium, but let me just check my supplies here. Yeah, I got like half of this. Because it requires a lot of reinforced alloy. So I'm going to have to make more, which means I'm going to have to make more infused alloy. Just hop back on up here. Oh dear, this must be because I'm running the uh, I'm running the chemical infuser to make hex uranium hexafluoride, and I'm running the ice um, isotope machine, and they're both going at the same time. Not to mention this thing. I'm in the process of making hydrofluoric acid. There's a lot of stuff to run right now. And I suppose I ought to run another cable, um, maybe an elite cable, because it's. The problem isn't energy itself, the problem is how much energy you can handle at one go. Especially at super speed like this. Hmm. Okay, so that should be all the reinforced alloy I need. Now let me just get the... Uh, suppose when this stops, which is soon, I'm going to yank what's left of, uh, actually no, it's right there. So I'll make the uh, elite energy, uh, elite energy circuits right here while I'm waiting for that crystallizer to, s uh, that dissolution chamber to stop and then, okay, there we go. So, yeah. This is the combiner. Is this thing finished yet? Yeah, it is. Okay. The combiner, you, you can make, uh, we well, can make ores out of it. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me just tack this somewhere. Oh, by the way, I found out that I was creating some excess liquid ethylene so I found so there's a way to um oh, I, let me just demonstrate this thing real quick because it certainly helped with high density polyethylene production. You'll notice that I have five full stacks right now. I'm in the biofuel. I can never find anything, can I? Oh, here it is. So I'll just make one unit of substrate in this pressurized reaction chamber, like so. But I can take that one unit of substrate, react it with water and ethylene, ethylene the gas that is, to make 
eight units of substrate and get a little bit of oxygen back. Granted, it's a very, it's a very little bit of oxygen, but um, I'm still getting back a bit of what I um, what I put in. There you have it, eight substrates, easily to be made into eight um, eight pellets of poly of high density polyethylene. Now I'm going to stick. Uh, it looks like I have a bit of a sem uh, an unofficial machine room here, or at least a machine area. Um, why don't I put the combiner right here, so at least it's getting energy. Now have a look at the recipes. Yeah, takes raw war and combines it into ore, but it takes eight of these. So I, I mean, I forget. I think eight might be the maximum amount of raw iron you can get out of an ore. But there's other things apparently. You can turn sweet berries into glow berries. You can. Make item frames glow too. It, that seems to be a uh, <coughs> vanilla thing that I never heard of. Make cobbles, make gravel into, um, make flint into gravel. Make ink into, well, yeah, more glowing stuff. This is lapis dust. You can make it into lapis ore. Mix colors. Make mud. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but okay. Make fluorite. And um, this thing, it seems you can wax stuff. There's a lot of copper ore to make into it. But you get the idea of what the combiner does. Or at least you sort of get the idea of what the combiner does. I never had much use for this thing, to be honest. But I... You can make certain decorative blocks, you know, waxing stuff and mixing colors. You can probably do so more efficiently. Okay, so what's the reward for this thing? It is a an epic mechanism. It advanced chemical tank full of carbon. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I so needed that when um when I had a lot of steel I had to make, and so it's it's not as useless as it appears. I don't know whether that was evident or not, because I did like use an entire I I did use all of one of these once to make steel. It is nasty out there. Oh, and what else is this? Advanced mechanical pipe. Do I have those already or no? Apparently not. Whatever. Okay. Um, next, the formulaic assemblicator. Couldn't just say assembler, could you? It requires a crafting table, another, more steel, and circuits. I need circuits. I need a whole circuit full of them. So it's another trip back up to the machine room. Make some more circuits. And how's this going? Nearly finished. That's good. Alright. Ah, it is finished. Oh, but it's because the chemical infuser and the uh, and the isotope separator are still running. This thing is really a drain, isn't it? I suppose it doesn't exactly help things that uh, tacked speed upgrades onto a lot of these machines here. I had a lot to do, and it would have taken forever to make as much fissile fuel as I have now. So the formulaic assemblicator. 
certainly got enough crafting tables to make one, don't I? I also need a chest. I was thinking of using the, one of the ones in um, in my old base there, but decided against it. Strictly for historical purposes. Assuming I haven't used them already. Okay, so this is in case you have to make a ton of stuff, like, at once. But... That's one of the perils of automation, I suppose. Do I, do I have any paper on me? Yeah, I do. You, you, automation assumes you're making things forever. You're making, you're going to be making the same things forever. Ah, and here is a crafting formula. I take it that you use the crafting formula with. Um, I'm not entirely sure how you'd use this thing. You use it. Yeah. It also doubles as an advanced crafting bench, but I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I am going to stick it. Assuming I can. There we go. What does this thing do? Ah, uh, wait a minute. I I can sort of guess what it does. So. I make steel stuff again. I think you put the glass like this. And like that. And you can craft. You can fill this up with supplies and and craft it from the supplies. But this is how you encode a formula. So it seems. out so I can get my stuff back. Um, Alright, yeah. This is for the crafting table. Uh, it's for steel. Now, wh what's the reward for this look like? That's just a rare mechanism loot bag, but... Oh, more biomass? Oh, good grief. This is like getting... I'm thinking, what exactly is a legitimately useless this gift that you can give somebody. How do I get this out of here? And on a related note, what exactly is in these pressurized tubes? These things are already full. Where did I put my Where did I put my configure? Ah, here it is. So I'm gonna put this stuff in here. Take it out of here. How does that not work? Oh whatever, there's a simpler way to do this anyway. There. Done. Presto. Surprised I didn't think of that earlier. And now I got another um, another advanced chemical tank, which I can use if I need to. Speaking of stuff that goes in advanced chemical tanks, oh, this is an energy upgrade. Oh, I think I know where to use this. Actually, I think the chemical infuser would be a better place to use because I use it more frequently. I already have some in there, though. Oh, yeah. It's full. Well, my second choice was this thing. There we are. Now it's a bit more efficient than it was. And we're right at the end of another these things. Another pile of fluorite. Voila. I certainly work this place like a dog, don't I? Nutritional liquefier. 
I think I can, I mean, I can actually get, he, make use of that zombie flesh. You know, I had like a ton of it because I thought that it could be used for biofuel, but that was old information. It used to be able to be used for biofuel. Not anymore, though. So, I'll enrich, and i just load this up. There. I oh, need two bowls. I think I've only got one. And it's because of something I ate. I have any more. Do I have more bowls? Yeah, even if I wanted... Oh, wait a minute. Here's another one. Ah, thank goodness for that. But I hate it to have to use... Okay, yeah, I know I can craft this thing using the auto crafter, but I don't need a lot of steel casings. Although, I did... I. I might need a lot of steel casings later. I don't remember exactly how the fusion reactor is built per se, only that it uses polonium now. And here it is, the nutritional liquefier. Where can I stick that? Um, how about here? Now let me just grab the reward here. A canteen and an epic mechanism loot box. Which contains... Oh, another ultimate tear thing. And redstone for infusing. Although I don't know how sincere I should be about, uh, about getting that, but alright. Now where did I put my zombie flesh? I had tons of this stuff. Here it is. I'm going to see just how much I can... Oh yeah, did I mention I had to put an anchor upgrade into into the other end of this? If you don't have one, and then the link will be broken because the chunk doesn't load. So let's see, how's this thing work? Let's see, put the canteen in here, put the zombie flesh in here. That's right, it's the Marcotron Co. Blendomatic. 400 milli... How much does this hold? 64 millibuckets. Ooh, I can use all the zombie flesh I want to in here. This is going to be a monotonous process, won't it? Okay, um... What else is there? It sounds furious out there. Okay, there's three things. And they allow for making dyes. A pigment mixer, a pigment extractor, and a painting machine. Okay, so the... Remember what I said about substrate earlier? Well, apparently this is where I'm going to end up using it. So I'm going to make some high-density polyethyl polyethylene. And some elite... Circ um, some elite stuff. I've got the circuitry for it. I once again find myself needing infused alloy and not having enough of it. This time... Maybe I'll make sure I've got... Actually, wait a minute. I got a better idea than that. I will dedicate this metallurgic infuser. I don't know whether you remember this, but I had this metallurgic. In ah, it's hard to see from back here. This metallurgic infuser configured such that it would accept infusion types. And it was specifically meant to use this thing, which I got as a reward. So I'm going to configure it so that the output is in the back. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, that's better. Now I can get to the metallurgy confuser, and this time I don't have to worry about um, running low on energy. The only drawback is it uh, it's kind of low on speed, too. So all that's going. I'll enrich these diamonds. Ooh, and this is finished. That's good. So I'm going to do a bit of multitasking here. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought I, I didn't think I had any u more uranium oxide. But yeah, eventually I'm going to have to infuse. I'm going to have to stick these two in the chemical infuser. How far along is it, by the way? Hmm, looks like it's draining. Maybe this has to do with the energy upgrade. Unless there, unless there's too many things running at once, which could be the case. The nutritional liquefier is almost finished, and this thing, yeah, I can start. Using this stuff. While that's cooking, I'm going to stow the, some of these away. Come to think of it, one of these quests used my crafting table, so I'm going to go and grab one. It's the one I thought I lost before. Yeah, apparently I just mislaid it, put it over here. Where it promptly got grabbed by this backpack. I'm gonna wanna install these upgrades on a backpack that I'm actually using. Okay, finito. So this is finished. This isn't finished. And by the sound of things, the nutritional liquefier looks like it's finished. But the metallurgy confuser isn't quite, but I got enough. Oh, while I'm at it, I put some windows in into the building. That way I'll... Hey, if I want to know whether or not to throw the override switch, I can look out here and see if the sun's up, if it's coming up, if it's raining. Then I'll be able to switch the override in or out, depending on well, on that. But I imagine that's a story for another day. Hmm. There's not a whole heck of a lot, but I suppose it's because it's zombie flesh, and there's precious little nutrition in zombie flesh. It's like eating bologna. Almost forgot to grab the uh, polyethylene. Now, if I remember correctly, it's this. Yeah, here we go. Two rods of this stuff. So we are once again making elite circuits. And a pigment mixer. I imagine that this is going to be that these three machines are going to want to be placed in a row. But there's precious little room to do that in, unless. Unless I were to put this over here.
And then, since I, um, since I'd like this building to at least sort of be fire code compliant, with this pigment mixer in here, this looks just like a chemical infuser. But what does it do? It makes black pigment, red pigment into dark red pigment. Hmm. Yeah, you can see all the pigments here. And it certainly runs the table. If I've learned anything from Vex's Super Hostels little packs, I've learned that there are 16 different colors in this game. And all you really need to do is check the color of the various colors of wool. How am I for flint? Do I have any flint? Yes, I do. I will make another steel casing. And another set of those circuits. Maybe I shouldn't put this stuff away just yet. So all I really need is one of these. I can just let this thing run and finish the rest later. Um, while I make this pigment extractor. Oh yeah, I need individual bits of redstone. At least I'm not enriching it this time. And done. And I'm going to stamp this right here, right up next to the pigment mixer. That was the other thing. Ah, uh, here we go. Painting machine. It needs dye base. That's sawdust and clay. But in theory, I, it shouldn't be too hard for me to make both. I mean, I've got the clay, like, right here. I've got some sawdust. These dye balls does it make... Oh, it makes three of them. Oh, that makes things much easier. Now, how about the rest of those... Circuits, here we go. And voila, a painting machine. And where can I put this? Well, how about there? And I take it you mix a, you put a pigment in here, and you paint a block with it. But it looks as though it's for changing the colors of stuff that you can change the colors of with the, that you would ordinarily change the colors of with dye. But let's, if you have black pigment, you can extract the pigment from using the pigment extractor from. Um, stuff that's painted or you know this actually could become useful if I ever need to if, if I ever need like a dye and I don't want to like black dye you have to go after squids right and green dye you need to go out to the desert and find a cactus or something along those lines so my reward is tubes and pipes well that's not too shabby. I imagine I'm going to need those later on, even if they're advanced instead of elite. Oh, speaking of tanks, uh, I'm going to just put this one right here in case I get another tank full of fungi or biomass.